From the time I can remember as a young girl, I remember understanding the power that spaces had on people's emotions, their interactions, their mood, how they thought, how they reacted or responded. There's just something about a minimal, open, decluttered, yet highly personalized and personable space that I really, really love. There's something about being in a room that brings people together or being in a room that invokes conversation or intimacy of some sort. So today I'm inviting you into my humble, undecorated, (laughs) newly moved into dining room. That needs a lot of work. But I wanted to do this dining room diaries because I've realized for the last year and a half, multiple different spaces I have lived with my boyfriend we have never really utilized our (laughs) tiny room for what it was made for one of my favorite rooms in the house outside of the bedroom and the living room is the dining room. It is in a dining room where traditionally families come together to eat, to replenish their bodies. And I think there's something so special about that. Sitting down across from one another, no TV, no outside electronic interruptions. You're just sitting down and you're talking about how your day was, or saying a prayer over your food and blessing your family at the same time being slightly annoyed about your siblings or maybe even your parents but also at the same exact moment being internally grateful that there's food on your table and a meal that you love or a meal that it has become your Sunday meals, your Sunday dinners. Um, I grew up in a African-American black household. So Sunday dinners was the thing we looked forward to at the end of the week because those were the dinners where my mom cooked a lot of food or a lot of favorite food and um, we sat around the table and we ate I got to sit down eat my favorite food eat some bomb chicken some steak some rice and gravy you know some little cheesy vegetables because I was a kid that could not and would not eat plain vegetables period Um, And then that was the time that I actually got to see all of my siblings and parents in one space. My mom, my dad, and my brothers, we would sit at the table and we would talk about either how our day went, how school went, something funny we seen or heard, or the latest gossip, what was going on with the neighbors, or whatever it had been. And I distinctly remember the kitchen being warm because obviously um, for those of you who cook you understand that the kitchen gets visibly not (laughs) physically hotter (laughs) when you're in there cooking Um, so sitting at the table after the kitchen um, dining room has kind of like cooled down slightly but I admire that so much because it gave you a cozy vibe like something that you could really just feel it it gave you that home homey experience that this is my home this is my safe space experience so I thought to myself why haven't me and my boyfriend in a year and a half why haven't we never 
ever used our dining room <laughs> ever we are definitely the cook take our plates to the living room sit on the couch and watch a movie together and that's beautiful in itself realistically no shade to that because that is a connection in and in itself but i wanted to try something different i wanted to experience that experience i had when i was younger when i had to set the table and lay out the forks and the drinks and plate the table i mean obviously my dining room has a lot of work it is nowhere near what i want it to be but for the moment it was cozy it gave me those this is home and this is how you connect with your lover and for that time for that few hours i was in a kitchen in my room it just solidified that this space is ours this is our home this is our safe space amongst the setting up in between setting up the cameras to capture the correct angles and cooking the food and setting the table things did get a little bit tense for me it wasn't as easy going as i expected this process to be i was picturing a very fluid aesthetic process what i got in return was very chaotic had to constantly jump in between the camera and the stove to make sure i wasn't burning food while also making sure i was capturing things the way i wanted to making sure i was setting up and cleaning the space prior to filming it making sure that you know since this was going to be on the internet that it was at least slightly presentable <laughs> so I thought about what it means to hear laughter in a home, what it means to hear the hum of voices intensely engage in a conversation or a debate, what it means to hear laughter coming out of a kitchen and dining room. And I got to experience that for the first time in a long time a very long time and I realized how much I took for granted intimate spaces and how much I took for granted the act of bringing people together over food in your safe space in your home nowhere near a shelf <laughs> oh shelf I'm nowhere near a chef um I literally your girl has started getting creative in the kitchen over the last year and a half <laughs> I have been with my love for four years going on five years now listen I need to find ways to get passionate about cooking food. Because while I love to eat food, I am an immense foodie. I don't like to cook it. <laughs> and I was like, what will inspire me to get inside the kitchen and cook it? In a building that is old, I don't live in a modern building, y'all. I live in a very historic, dated building, but because of that, it has its own unique charm. I love the feel of lived-in spaces. So, that could be why, even though this is a dated apartment that we're living in, I really still enjoy the ambiance of it. And honestly, it got me thinking. I should definitely take time to decorate <laughs> my dining room and kitchen to give it the vibe that I want to give it um, and also inspire me to cook because, yeah, it, it 
it definitely is the inspiration for me. <laughs> I think of cooking and dining and eating as an experience. What do I want this experience to feel like, look like? What do I want it to taste like, right? Like you're invoking multiple senses when you're inside of a dining room or a kitchen. So I want to this experience to touch on those things or to see how much I could touch on those things. And for it being the first time in a long time that I had to go through the process of making food, sitting down, setting the table, it definitely sparked that interest in me again. So I'm going to leave you with this thought. If you have not been in your kitchen, dining room area, and I mean sat in your dining room and kitchen or be in your kitchen without the electronics, I implore you to give it a try. I implore you to decorate your dining room and give it a homely vibe. I implore you to invite people over for dinner so that your space gets filled with laughter and conversation and people rubbing their bellies because the food was chef, chef kiss. I hope you guys enjoy this dining room diaries and let me know if you like this type of content. Or if you yourself has experienced any of the things that I said or took notice of anything, um, let's start a conversation in the comments. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!